Hi guys, so what's up? So today we are gonna see, we're gonna solve a question on the book Atkins, uh, Chemical Principles, The Quest of Insight. Uh, so let's get started by the topic A, the exercise 1A.1. So I'll read it now. At the time, that Tonsil conducted his experiments on cathode rays, the nature of the electron was in doubt. Some consider it to be a form of radiation like light, others believed the electron to be a particle. Some other observations made on cathode rays were used to advance one view or the other. Explain how each of the following properties of cathode rays supports each either the wave or the particle model of the electron. Letter A, they pass through the metal foil, foils. Letter B, they travel at speeds lower than the light, than that of light. Letter C, if an object is placed in their path, they cast a shadow. Letter D, their path is deflected when they are passed uh, between electrically charged plates. So, it's a theoretical question, so let's get started. But before started, let me, let me explain what is cathode rays. Well, uh, cathode rays are rays of electrons usually uh, that usually travel at high speed, producing a gas tube with an electro potential difference. So, knowing this, let's go to the question. Letter A. Uh, is wave or particle behavior when cathode rays pass through metal foils. So, simple, it's a wave behavior since there isn't collision between the metal foil and the rays. Uh, so, it is a letter A, let me put it here, letter A, uh, wave behavior I'll put here no collision no collision so uh, the wave behavior allows the radius to pass through the metal foil it's something that involves probability uh, but also it must be recognized that there is no collision, as I said. So, letter B. Let's go to letter B. Uh, letter B, they say, the travel speed is lower than that of light. So, uh, it's a particle behavior was every electromagnetic wave travel at vacuum at a speed C equals uh, 299 million 792 uh, 458 meters per second, which decreases depending on the medium of propagation. So, it is a particle behavior. Particle. Oops. Particle behavior. Speed. They travel speed, speed lower than C light. C the speed of light. So that speed since cathode rays do, does the TV the speed C even in vacuum, it's a particle behavior. So let's go to letter C. Letter C. Um, C. So uh, letter C. They say if an object is placed in their path, they cast a shadow. So it's a wave behavior since the radiation, when the radiation is blocked by an opaque, opaque object, uh, generates a shadow. Cast a, a shadow. So I'll put here wave behavior 
sneeze, radiation, blocked, results in a shadow. So let's go to letter D. Their path is deflected when they are passed between electrically charged plates. So it's a particle behavior because charged particles suffer attraction or repulsion by charged plates, resulting in deflection. So letter D is a particle behavior. Because charged plates uh, attract or repel. Electrons. Oops. Electrons. So that's it. That's simple. Um, so I'm stopping here. Uh, if you like this video, please sure subscribe to the channel. And so that's for today, see you next time.